Yeah. What's going on, y'all? You know who it is. Mr. Warmack, a.k.a. Low Rent, a.k.a. The Ignorant American, a.k.a. The Truth As You Know It, a.k.a. Dirty Business, a.k.a. The Jet Jaguar of YouTube. All right, everybody. How you doing? Hope you and yours have had a wonderful holiday season. Merry Christmas. Happy Hanukkah. Happy Kwanzaa. To the atheists that don't believe in that. Well, fuck you then. All right. Now, back to the lecture ahead. As you can see, first off, let me say this. This is not my team, people. As you know, I'm an avid New York Jets fan. The Jets suck this year. There's no excuse for that. But I lost a lot. I told somebody that it was a gag gift. And I said, if you do that, I'll wear it on one of my videos. Well, heaven forbid, they did it. And I got to put it on. I'm true to my word. Now, I know four people, at least, that I'm, making, that I'm making happy wearing this. That's my mother, my father, my brother, who I hear about it, and my son. They're all avid Steeler fans. Like I said, I was born in Brooklyn and I grew up in the Pittsburgh area, like maybe 30 miles outside of Pittsburgh. But when I, I, was, when I was older, I was hanging in Pittsburgh, the Homewood, Wilkesburg, East Hills, Larimer section, shout out to all them guys, you know. Formosa Way, Frankstown, Bennett, Susquehanna, all them blocks. But today I'm doing more videos and I just had some time today and I decided to talk about some stuff. Like today I'm going to talk about there's these guys on the internet who use Jedi mind tricks like MSNBC and Fox News. Whatever side of the table coin you're on, on either Fox News or MSNBC, these folks, those two stations, and, and CNN to a lesser degree, they use Jedi mind tricks. We all know Fox race base, MSNBC race base, CNN tries to play the play the middle, but they, they do pull in on, on, on their stuff too. But uh, I was alerted, uh, as you may have known, or as you may know, I, I would say like that. I have stuff on depression and fibromyalgia. Look that up. Well, you know, I take the heat from my views and my opinions on that. I have I have no problem taking the heat from my views and my opinions on that. Well, excuse me, well, the other day, I see a comment. And I'm going mean, to mean, just jerk off for going back and forth. You know how, you know. Oh, you're an idiot. I will fucking get out of here. Well, I seen something where this this is why the drunken pheasants, hold on. What the, the drunken pheasants? Pheasants, why do you drink of pheasants? That sounds stupid. What, what's the deal? Oh, the drunken peasants. Look them up, drunken peasants. And I'm gonna include the video as I talk about it for some. I'm gonna give you not a summary, I'm gonna give you the, the foreground first. They said they said this is why the drunken peasants flamed you in their video. Well, I was like, drunken peasants? What's this dude talking about? So uh I typed in drunken peasants and I saw it there. And I saw what they had this, I saw one of them, it was like the third video in, this is uh, depending on when I upload this. It was the third video in, they, what they do, the drunk competitors, let me give you a summary of what they do. They go on the internet on YouTube land and pick videos that they feel that are interesting. And they basically give their opinions, right or wrong, I'm not knocking what they, this is what they do. They do like everybody else on YouTube, and they give their opinion on something. And they give their, you know, they give their analysis. I was like, okay, well, let me see what they say. So I was looking, I saw they used mine as the screenshot, which I'm going to show you, by the way, which I'm going to link the video if they have it up still. And I said, well, and after the dude said that, I said, well, let me see what this dude has, they have to say. So I'm listening to the video, you know, it's, it's just like, you know, there's, there's Fred here, the, the long haired dude, Fred. There's Frank, the other guy, the slacker, hippie type guy, and there's the third guy, the voice guy, we'll call him out. I think, what, what's the quote? I think it's the drunken, uh, drunken atheist, the uh, amazing atheist, the uh, amazing Spider-Man, excuse me, I don't know your name, the amazing alcoholic, uh, the other one's called, uh, BJ and the Bear, or, you know, 
Turner, who channel mode, whatever, whatever they're called, that's who they, I'm, I'm going to play the video for you. What they did is, they made generalizations about me, and I'm like, hey, that's your opinion, I don't know. Them. But if you, if you listen to the video, and I advise you to watch the video twice, so you can check me on what I'm saying. They provided no evidence, they provided no AMA journals, they provided nothing to the American, American, uh, American Journal, of, uh, Journal of American Science, they provided no nothing. It, it was like a, it was, if you will, a roasting thing. It was a roasting video. Now I'm going to play the video, I'm going to come back to you guys. So here we go. There we go. Peace, love, Life is and not a garden, knowledge. so stop Peace. acting like a hoe. Here we go again. On top of this video, Depres depression, anorexia, and all these other bullshit ass illnesses. Hey, it's the same guy, but black. All right, man. I'm gonna talk about how about depression and all these other bullshit ass illnesses that we have in the states here. We only have them in the States. They don't yeah. get depression anywhere else. So congratulations if you live outside of the States because yeah. you can't be depressed. What about U.S. territories? Are they just kind of like in the middle? Some people can be depressed, but not many. Only the ones who have been made aware of the existence of depression. Okay, what about Puerto Rico? Uh, they're not a state, but... They're just depressed to be in Puerto Rico. Oh, okay. So I, I don't know anything about Puerto Rico. I'm just... <laughs> and like they're giving people more and more excuses here in America to be bigger fuck ups. That's always dawn. Like depression, they're making it seem like it's like cancer or something. Anorexia and bulimia, it's like a big deal. I haven't heard too much about and a lot of these other bullshit ass illness. Like what's the what's the other one? Five or more jobs? What's that? Five or more jobs? Whatever. Fibromyalgia. Yeah. Oh, that's bullshit. <laughs> it's all a bunch of bullshit. Fuck that is. Fibromyalgia, whatever it is. How do you Fuck know it's you're bullshit? All tired. <laughs> that's a real disease, too. I kind of have a question. <laughs> like, if it's bullshit, you don't even know how to pronounce the name of the disease. You don't even, you really don't know what it obviously entails. And how can you just declare, like, I really don't know much about this. I think it's a bunch of bullshit, but I can declare it's bullshit based on knowing really nothing about it. Like, the, people get tired. The thing about this is, like, you know, before he declared it bullshit, he wasn't like, I have a suspicion these things are bullshit, so I'm going to do an extensive amount of research online. <laughs> I'm going to go yeah, to medical journals. So. I'm going to read the research and the papers. And I'm going to see if there's really anything to this or not. Why, why do so many people... It, it, Instead, it, he's just... No, no, it's like... He's just like, all these things are bullshit, and they're bullshit because I think they're bullshit. I'm going to make a video about how they're bullshit. But why do so many people seem to have these kind of beliefs? Like, you see, like, like, I remember, like a few weeks ago, like, when you weren't here... Uh, I was here when we had that guy. No, 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 wait, remember when, like... No, you were... No, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not talking about that guy. I'm talking about when Paul was on the show and you weren't here. Like oh, okay. I said, when you weren't here... They have this anti-vaccine guy, and apparently there's a lot of people that just, they're not, they're anti-vaccine, they think all these diseases are total bullshit. It's like, I'm just wondering why they actually believe this shit, because it's pretty clear they haven't researched any of it, and they have no idea what they're talking about. Man, there's fucking skeptics for any goddamn thing that happens. Any news story that happens, you can find, like, at least fucking 5% of people that's like, that fucking shit never really happened like that. But why are they being skeptical of things that, is, that have been clearly demonstrated to exist? I just don't understand it. I think a lot of times it just, like, it offends doesn't... some preconce uh, preconceived notion they have in their heads, and they don't want to face certain realities, so it's easier for them to just deny them, I guess. Yeah, it's, it's, it's just like uh, that Nephilim Free guy, he believes in geocentrism, <laughs> because it, cause it says somewhere in the Bible... You know that the that the world is in the center of the universe. Yeah, it just it, I just sometimes I, I hear this shit and it's like, man, what 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 is going through this person's head? You know <laughs> what I mean? Like seriously, the answer is not much. I, I guess not. Yeah, hold on, I choked on that one. But all these little diseases and bullshit ass illnesses are giving you like people reason to keep fucking up. 
gives you a reason to keep me feeling sorry for you. Well, I don't feel sorry for you. Gives you a reason, oh, I'm depressed. Well, fucking, I ain't having a great day either, but I ain't taking no fucking medicine for it. No? That's not depression. What? I, the thing I don't understand about this is, like, when, like, depression is so unlikely to even really, like, affect someone else's life unless it's just, like, the fatigue associated with it might make someone seem, like, lazy or unaccountable or something like that. But, like, by and large, people with depression are not, like, out there in the world causing shit. They're mostly, like, laying in bed, fucking staring at the ceiling, just going, like, fuck my existence. Ah. <laughs> like, how is that even affecting you? Like, someone is, like, chronically depressed, and you're just going to be like, yo, fuck you, bitch. Quit fucking taking them pills and shit. <laughs> it's like, I'm, I'm just laying here in my bed fucking hating my existence. Could you leave me alone, please? Man, fuck you! Fuck you, bitch! Fuck you! I mean... Just gives you an excuse. I hate to say, like, me and a lot of people who I hang with in a lot of places that I've been to, I talk to people, and we came to the conclusion it's real life that um, America's not as tough as it used to be. We're, it's been getting pussyfied over the generations and over the years. Like... My generation ain't as tough as, like, maybe my dad's generation, my mom's generation, and their generation ain't as tough as maybe my grandparents. It's been, like, trickling down. I mean, it's been getting, it's been, let me put it, it's been getting bad since, like, my generation and after. Well, like, sure. I mean, go back 500 years, like, hey, you know, my ancestors, like, subsisted on a small plot of land. <laughs> they had it real tough. You want to go back to that time, be my fucking guest, man, because I don't want to go back to it. He probably does. I mean, like, it, it's just like the only thing he's like, man, we ain't as tough as we used to be. It's like, well, maybe we exchange toughness for some other values like intelligence and actually rationally inquiring into things and being, like, logical and not emotionally reacting to everything on some guttural level. Like, maybe we're trying to strive more towards that. It's like, yeah, man, but... Fucking, we turned a bunch of nerves. We, we ain't going to be tough no more, man. It's like, uh... It seems like that's what he's really afraid of, is what he's saying. He's like, man, people aren't as tough as they used to be. Like, like kind of like man, the manly man thing is not like what it used to be, so I'm scared. My identity as a man is being threatened by this changing world in which I live, and I am frightened. Therefore, none yeah. of these mental illnesses exist. <laughs> yeah, I think it kind of sums it up. Like, I... I... Went to school, graduated in 88. And like during the 80s, we like, this is bullshit. We were all worried about ourselves in the 80s. Everybody was like the me generation. If you're Generation X and after, you want some bullshit. I mean. What's he talking about? I don't even what, care. What did that last statement even mean? <laughs> it was just fucking babble gobble. You're on some this. bullshit. Man, you want some bullshit. You Generation X or after, you want some bullshit. It's bullshit, man. Hey, TJ. You listen to that Nirvana shit? That shit's garbage, bro. Hey, TJ. What? You're racist. Why? I can just tell. Okay. Me and Ben decided the other day, we're like, man, TJ sure is a fucking racist. <laughs> is, the, is, that the, is that the name of his show? Life, Life is, is not, not a garden, garden, so stop, stop acting like a hoe. hoe. I think so. That's a very long title. So uh, the next video we're going to go to is entitled, What is the Patriarchy? Huh? Okay. I played that video. I told you to watch it twice. If you don't, watch it again and I'll stop for a minute. Now, if you watch the whole thing, they have done the same thing that I do in my videos. I provide critique. I provide what I think, I provide what certain folks say, I provide what certain doctors say. That's what I do. But then he had the sidekick, what's his name, BJ or Kern Hooch or whatever he does. He was like, uh, I, don't, I don't know what guys like this thing when medical science, I'm like, medical experts say the same thing I say. There's been people in my comment section that have said, well, my doctor thinks like you, and he doesn't believe in it either. You know why these doctors don't come out publicly? Because there's money to be made, and everybody's making money. But I'm not going to talk about the depression or something around. I'm talking about what these guys are doing. 
So they they offered their analysis, and what they did is they, they used genomics on people. Because what it was is, you would think they were come out with information and boom this, boom that, bang bang bang, stuff to kill my theories. All they did was a all it was was a glorified roast session. And I'm thinking to myself, these are supposedly top guys on YouTube. They have to resort to roasting a comment video, and I'm like, they didn't do anything. That would be me like taking one of you guys' videos of what you, your opinion of something and just roast you for your opinion. I'm like, if I'm going to take a, something like that off of your videos, I'm going to provide evidence and I'm going to provide back up what I'm saying, boom, boom, boom. If it's not a commentary video, if it's, it's something that we're saying, we're, well, we're dealing with facts, show me this, show me that, I'm going to give you facts. But if you're giving a commentary on my video, which is a commentary video, and you're being funny, whereas I was being funny, what was your point other than the rally the the the, the winos and crybabies that watch your video? Well, you told them that the fucking fake answer peasants. Where were you, Kyle? But if you watch the video, they use Jedi mind, and these are supposedly top dogs. They use Jedi mind tricks, but you see. And then the one guy was like, and then one guy made a generalization, Turner and Hooch, the guy, he went on wearing, he's not, the, the guy sitting on the left of your screen, that like sitting in his chair like this, and he does all this stuff, you know, you know, like a little kid who don't want to be there. He, he's like, oh, you're racist. Like I guess they were joking around. See, number one, I don't play that crap. See, I don't believe in, like, I believe in everything's on my own merit. If you guys would have checked out some videos, you would see I, I hold people accountable. And the other, um, the other one, see, they, then they go, what's, I don't know what's going through his mind. And the other guy's like, ah, well, probably nothing. Well, something to that effect. Well, you did the same thing I've done, but what's going through my mind is nothing. And you guys are Harvard scientists, the Harvard, you know, professors here. Is this, is, is this what I'm trying to get here? Because honestly, it didn't, it, 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 let, let me put it this way. The only people who were impressed by that video were people who went on common sense, logic, and reasoning. Because that stuff was basic what they did. And like I said, these guys are top dogs on YouTube. I did a little research on them. You know, I can't get their names right. You know, I know like I said, I know the, the alcoholic atheist. He's like, well, I guess, was a somebody. But I guess Turner Hutu, you know, that's his sidekick and the, and the voiceover guy. He's, you know, he's like the redhead guy off of David Letterman. You'll see him pop in every once in a while. You know, and now I'm worried for more sponsors. You know, he does stuff like that, probably. But what I'm saying is, if you watch the video, they didn't do anything new. They didn't give you no information. They just made a commentary on my video, then tried to roast me. And if you, and if you listen to the alcoholic atheist, you depressed dummies, he took a shot of depression, and y'all still loved it. But when I did it, you guys were crying about it. See, this is what I tell folks. I, 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 I can go toe to toe with anybody. I have no problem. You know why? Because I have common sense. I have logic. I have reasoning. I have critical thinking skills. Like that video, and I just showed you guys. If, 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 in the, it's been out for a month, so they had time to, to, to edit it and switch it up and do anything. That's why I waited so long to put this out. I was going to say, well, maybe they might switch it up and come with it. You know? See, the problem is they think people don't watch that videos. I watched the video. I mean, I, I didn't watch all of it. I watched my part because I'm like, these guys are, these guys are, what? I'm like, are you guys kidding me? What all they did was they, they formed an opinion on my opinion. And like I said, I, I, they, I, I told people before, if you watch the vi all my videos, I said, yes, I believe it exists. But I don't believe it exists to the degree that people are using it. I said, there's, and I said, if I'm right, I don't believe it's a real disease. I just don't. But it's not like they provided you any real substance to back up what they were saying. They just, like, roasted me. And I'm cool with that because I'm a big boy. I wear big poor pants. My point is, it's deception behind the roast. People were, like, down in the comments section. I read a couple of comments. And see, they, and, they, and they were, like, they were race, they were, they were race baiting to a point because I seen a comment where, well, if he's a black guy, what well, we go about the several years where he didn't think that, that something, uh, slave shit, something, it was like, they got real racial. I was like, this is, see, this is what I, and these are, these are, these are supposedly big dogs, and this is what she goes on in your comment section, and this is their friends, and this is, I'm not their friends, they're fans. And you expect, 
like I said, I can go toe to toe with anybody. I have no problem going toe to toe. I have no problem with people making commentaries off my videos. It's when you use Jedi mind tricks, and like I said, they even fooled their own audience, were fooled, which were filled with depressed dummies, because the, the alcoholic atheist took a shot at depression people. He said, all I do is lay in bed and shit and look at the walls. And y'all were mad at that? But when I say something where I don't believe it, all of a sudden, you guys are like rallying the fucking, rallying the troops here, you know what I'm saying? You guys got out of bed for that hour, at least I made you get out of bed. But see, it's the deception involved that I had a problem with. I thought when I saw that, that hey, these guys might come with like, here's what medical experts say, that, 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 that. they didn't do that. All they did was a glorified roast of me. And that's what so all these lambs are going on YouTube that I don't partake in. I mean, I can go toe-to-toe -to -toe back and forth, but this video I'm giving you, I'm not roasting them. I'm giving you facts. This is facts of what they've said. Now, their names I may not know because, you know, I just know they were drunken peasants. That's all I know. Then I did, like I said, I did a little more research. I saw one was like the mate, either the alcoholic atheist or the amazing atheist. Because he was the main one with his little uh, trying to be funny. I'm the main host. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm, I'm being funny at all. Like I said, they, they tried to be like the night shows, you know, the talk shows. We got the main host. That's what he was. Oh, I'm being funny. I'm being, I'm being real alternative. I'm being so, I'm being so alternative that I hate the alternative. Then you had a sidekick, Mr. No Wall Street over there, Chuck, whatever his name was. He's in his chair doing this. You see a little kid that you tell him to go sit down and they try to slide out of the chair? That's how he was acting like. And then he wants to make his put his two cents in. What are guys like these thinking? Well, Patty, I'm thinking the same thing you thought because you said the same thing. Except you said the reverse of what I said. And then you had the voiceover guy. You ever see Rad Down with David Letterman? That's what this guy was. He was like, mm, for our next sponsor. I'm like, and, and then the, 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 there's a part in there where I, I'll show you how they're generalizing it. It's not racist what they did. By the way, let's, let's, let me clear this up. It was not racist some of the things they did to me or said. When, like the raging atheist or alcohol atheist, whatever his name is, he was, you know, mocking my voice. And, uh, and Chuck on the side said, well, that's racist. See, that, you know, that's ignorant on your part. See, I never drop, drop that's racist because that's what you can do that. That's your opinion. And that's another thing they want to do, and you know, and then and then the alcoholic atheist goes, you know, he goes, oh, that's gnarly, dude. I'm not racist. I smoke with Bob. Listen, Bob Marley, dude. These are the people that I have to deal with. If this was the, if this was some of YouTube's best, don't let YouTube get a hold of my videos because I'll smash a lot of these guys. I can break them down to atoms because see, they already have generalizations, generalizations about me in their mind. They they expose that. So I know what thinking they're coming from. I know how to I know how to deal with these. Look, let me put it. I know how to get, deal with guys like that. Once you put everything on the table, how you think about somebody, I work from that. And and, and you don't have to act, play sit in the back and act stupid. And once you once you kind of put your feelings out there and you kind of I can kind of see where you're coming from. Like what this do? You're telling people this is how this guy thinks. I'm like, no, it's not how that guy thinks. But Jedi mind tricks. So I just want to let you people know. Watch the video again and see what type of medical evidence they gave, you know. All they did was the same thing I've done. They gave a commentary off of my commentary. But yet, the crybaby depressed people love that, even though he took a shot at you guys towards the end. With my video, I'm Satan. Well, well guys, Satan put his horns up and just speared you guys because the drunken peasants are like Fox News and MSNBC. They use Jedi mind tricks on the people and that's how they fool them. They take, up, they take the, hyper, the hyper part of the clip, the clip that draws you in, the clip that where people are going to respond to, and they use that. So they're no different than Hanny and Combs, they're no different than um, Rachel Maddow, they're, they're, they're just, but they, they act like they're all alternative. Like, groovy man, I'm alternative, I'm so against society that I'm against society, I'm against people who are against society. That's what they try to get you with. So like I said, look at the video again. I come at you with facts. And like I tell people, that's why these guys, whatever they think they can do, you can't do because I'm coming from factual base. If you mess with me, you mess with facts.
They can't mess with it. You know what? They don't mess with facts. Peace.